Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, your girl Lily, and I am looking real Trinidad Carnival, real Brazilian Carnival, parade, mas, all of that. I am giving total beautiful vibes right now. I'm going to be doing a Carnival makeup tutorial today for you guys. As you can see, I hope y'all enjoy it and y'all watch all the way through in between or closer to the end or closer to the beginning. Who knows? If you watch the whole video, you will know when I'm going to be sharing something a little special that y'all might want to pay attention to okay so let's go ahead and get into this thing. what's going on this tutorial is going to be pretty much really close up I have my 50 millimeter lens on and honestly this is the farthest I can be from it without being too far away from my products like my brushes my shadows everything including my mirror with this tutorial I am watching Netflix so there's going to be points where uh, I'm going to be doing a voiceover. There's going to be music playing. I hope y'all enjoy this and we're about to get right into it. First, I'm going to start off with a brown but like closer to my skin tone base just so I can blend on top of it, okay? I'm trying to get everything organized. I probably should have did this before. I think to start this off, I love this Huda Beauty palette and this is going to be the color Sandalwood that I'm going to start off with. I'm going to be using NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to apply it generously just because I'm going to be applying a lot of different colors today on my eyelids. So I want everything to be as bright as possible. I'm just going to smooth it out just to make sure there's no unevenness in the texture of this primer. And as you can tell, I already did my eyebrows off camera just because it's such a simple part of the makeup. I didn't think that was really needed to do on camera. I got some on my eyelashes, which is perfectly fine. One thing that I love about this eyeshadow base is because it is clear for the most part you see there is nothing on my eyes there's no uh thick consistency about it or anything like that like a lot of primers are and concealers that people choose to use instead of primers let's see i'm going to go with the fluffy long brush this is the morph m200 brush that i'm going to be using to apply this shadow and i'm going to begin high up because Carnival makeup is extremely extra. I'm not sure if y'all have ever attended a carnival, but it is extremely extra and glamorous. So I'm going to be beginning up here. I'm just going to continue to build on this color. Not too much, just to um, achieve the color that I am looking for. So I can make sure that is there. That's good enough. And I'm gonna carry on to this side and do the same thing. I think those look similar. I will say that the more similar your eyebrows, the better your makeup and your whole face is gonna be symmetrical because it is super frustrating to have uneven brows because it kind of carries over until into how your eyeshadow turns out if you have one brow that's higher than the other nine times out of ten your makeup is going to look uneven okay, now i'm going to go into a deeper warmer brown i want to stay away from any colors that may possibly look um ashy or just not bright and full. I'm going to go into the more M433 brush and go into this morph palette and I'm going to use, I think it's called throwback, pound throwback. I'm just gonna build on top of there. I'm not gonna take it all the way over. I just want to create that crease, that warm crease. Going back to the original brush, I'm going to semi blend this out. Ooh, I got some hairs coming out of the brushes. These brushes I have had for a very long time. So 
They are still holding their weight, but they are getting food. I think this one is a little bit higher than this one. This is more out than this one, but that's how my brow bone is. They are very different on each side of my face. So sometimes you just gotta play around with the makeup to kind of fix that without making it too dark. Using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light Medium, I am actually going to make my crease with this. Being that this is an extremely matte drying concealer, this is uh, one of my favorite products to use to create a crease and because it is extremely bright. This is also my concealer brush that I carved my eyebrows out with. So I know this is super precise and I won't have any issues carving this crease. I feel like I could have went a little higher, but I'm going to keep it like this. And I'm playing it safe, y'all. I'm playing it safe. Let's see. Going into my Deck of Scarlet's palette. I actually received this from Beautykind. I'm going to be going into the color Sands and using this on this part. favorite eyeliner ever you guys Guys, using my brush now that my glitter primer is applied, I'm gonna wait for it to dry a tinge, but not too much. But I don't want my face to be just too wet. So I have two different gold glitters here that I will be using. These glitters I previously have purchased from another makeup artist years like two, three, no, like three, four years ago. And um, I don't really use them much just because I have, I don't really. Uh, go anywhere that I would wear glitters to so using my fan brush I'm just really gonna apply this however it adheres to my face 
And I'm just gonna layer these on top of each other. There is going to be glitter on my floor forever. So remember the stones that I showed you? I was waiting for those to dry as much as possible before I actually try to stick those on because I do not have any spirit gum. A lot of people that actually apply gems already have them on like that little tacky paper. So they just put that on and then I'm pretty sure they use a little bit of spirit gum just because during carnival and, and doing parade and masks and stuff like that, you sweat a lot. So you want to make sure that your makeup and your gems and your stones that are being applied are going to last during the entire day. So you don't want them to fall off. Some stuff is just inevitable and it's going to fall off. But for the most part, the main stones you want to stick. I'm going to glue a little bit more on and then I'm gonna go to my lips. Hey you guys, so I am finally finished with this makeup look. I had to back all the way up because my headpiece is extremely big. Um, the feathers on this bad boy are well out of frame. I want to thank y'all so much if y'all have watched even this far of this makeup tutorial. If you have, you already know what to comment down below. Pound dope. And I want to let everyone know that the giveaway is going to be, um, I guess raffle today, I'm going to choose a winner today. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this tutorial. I actually have on my lip gloss, for my lip gloss line, um, this is 24 karat, it's very subtle, it has like a couple of gold sparkles in it every now and again. I'll get up a little closer for y'all. This is me up close. Um, on my lips, I want to let y'all know that this is a brown lip liner, you guys, with liquid matte lipstick in the Dash O Spice color. That is this. And I want to let y'all know that it does oxidize once it dries. It dries a little bit darker than when it is applied, okay? So this is really as far as I can go, I think, without being too far back. So y'all can see this headpiece. As you see, it is extremely big and extremely long. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this tutorial down below in the comment section. Um, I do want to try to push out a makeup video, one video a week for every week in October. One of these weeks, I am going to be pushing out a Halloween makeup video. Y'all let me know what y'all think I should do. The best comment, I will actually do that makeup tutorial as long as it is within my expertise. If I know that I can do it, I will definitely do it. If I feel like I might not be able to pull it off too well, nine times out of ten, I ain't gonna do it. But I'm gonna thank you anyway for commenting. 